All right, joining us now, author of March to the Majority, Fox News contributor, former Speaker of the House, Newt Gingrich. Mr. Speaker, let's get your overarching reaction to all of this. I think this is big news, and I think that the walls are closing in very tight on Joe Biden. It used to be a Hunter Biden scandal, now it's a Joe Biden scandal, and he lied repeatedly. Well, look, I think, first of all, if you back out and look at the entire forest, it is Barack Obama politicizing the Justice Department, covering up all sorts of things, setting a standard that if you're on the left, you're never going to be prosecuted. It's Hillary Clinton making t millions and millions of dollars in ways that involve basically public policy decisions that favor Russians and others. And then there's Joe Biden, who looks up and he says, let me get this straight. The Justice Department's never going to come after me. Hillary's proven you can make tons of money doing this stuff. Why shouldn't we play? And it's no question in my mind, everything the Biden White House says now about this topic is a lie. It's just plain, totally a lie. But it has to be a lie. I mean, you, you can't expect the incumbent president to come out and say, you know, we had a bad period there, and Hunter and I stole a whole bunch of money from the Russians, the Chinese, the Kazakhs, the Ukrainians, the Romanians. But, you know, we needed the money. I mean, he needed a Porsche. I didn't have a really good place to put my Corvette. You can't really blame me. Uh, I meant well. And, gee, it just all kind of crept up. What's he going to say? These guys are, yeah. if, if you watch the movie The Irishman with De Niro, you get a flavor of this. These guys are the mob. They are exactly like a mafia group. They operate in total dishonesty. Why would you think they're going to tell the truth? You know, Hunter Biden at the time, remember the, the Burisma executive, you know, they were pleading. This, you go back to this to December 4th, 2015 call out of Dubai to the White House and messages leading into this. They desperately need help from D.C. Then Devin Archer put, brings a very important point out that the brand, the Biden brand, was what they were selling. I don't think they were selling the brand of the crack addict or the guy that had a proclivity towards women of the night. The brand was obviously Joe Biden. Then Joe Biden's big lie repeated often as president and as a candidate that he never once talked to these people. And now we know he's up to his eyeballs, meeting these people, calling these people, you know, dozens and dozens of occasions. Oh. Uh, then you look at the money. Look, the what were they paying Hunter for if Joe wasn't involved? What were they paying the grandchildren for oh, no. in these in these bank accounts or shelters? corporations. Look, if I understand the timing correctly, um, there's actually a phone call from Dubai to Joe Biden on December a phone 4th. which Peter Schweitzer is convinced was paid for by Burisma. And we ought to get the records of that phone as a test of their sincerity at being cooperative. Within days, uh, Joe Biden is on the, an airplane, government, U.S. government plane, to go to Ukraine. And as he himself says, the video is available. I mean, he says publicly to the Council on Foreign Relations, I went there and I told him if they didn't fire this guy, they were going to lose a billion dollars in foreign aid. And by God, within six hours, it was done. This, this is Biden himself on tape saying this to a public group. Well, if you go back and say, let me get this straight. The people who had hired your son call you from Dubai a few days later, you're in Ukraine doing exactly what they requested, because their fear was that this particular prosecutor was going to take them all down. So they weren't just buying the brand. I think Archer's being way too nice here. They were buying an access to get the vice president of the United States, who also, by the way, was threatening to cut off Ukraine from international monetary fund money. You take yeah. those pieces together, that's pretty close to straight outright bribery. Do you see Biden getting impeached over this? I think it may eventually become to that, which I think is scary, because the idea of Kamala Harris replacing him is terrifying. I don't, I don't know about a conviction in it with a Democratic Senate, but we'll see. The walls are closing in very tightly on all of them, and I don't see a way out for them. Newt Gingrich, thank you.